My dad, Red, is well known in dairy circles. He's, he's kind of a legendary figure and legends carry their own stories. Dad literally started with nothing but his bare hands and a determination like no other. Dad had a passion about being a dairy farmer from a very young age. Red's dad was a row crop farmer. He grew potatoes, but in 1932, with as bad as things were in the Depression and the Dust Bowl, the weather was so dry in droughts that they just did never make a crop. And without crops, it just failed. And so the bank foreclosed on his farm. Our daddy never forgot as an eight-year-old boy watching his dad have to load up the last dairy cow on that truck. And he said that was the saddest day of his life. That gave him every bit of ambition to create his own farm and get his own cows back. And so in 1943, he entered World War II. He sent some money home and said, save up the money, I'm gonna use it to get started back in the cows. And after the war, he returned home in 1947 and he started the farm. He started out with maybe 180 head of cows. Larson Farms milks about 13,000 today. He was doing a little banking and that is where he met my mother as a bank teller. It was love at first sight, Red and Rita. Red took care of the farms and Rita took care of the house. And that was the deal. I remember when my brother Woody and I graduated from college. We decided to come back to the farm. Dad says, you give me your diploma and I'm gonna give you a pair of rubber boots. It was a lot of work, a lot of hard work. Dad tried to teach us as much as we possibly could have taken in in his lifetime. And maybe that's why he lived to be 96, because he was still teaching us. Most of us uh, spend for our lives getting the next generation ready. Typically, in a dairy family, you look for the sons to step up, but that's not necessarily the case anymore. I have some granddaughters that can do anything the boys can. I think I want to continue the path of my father and be a dairy farmer. As a young generation, I feel that climate change is one of the main concerns. The anaerobic digester and really cleaning up that methane is something that will help out our world. Per cow, you have upwards of 150, 200 pounds of urine and manure a day. A lot of food. In terms of waste management, Red was always one of the early adopters of the next step for the environment. And it started out with lagoons and seepage fields and spray fields. Now, with the advent of the methane digester, that's a pretty big step. The anaerobic digester solves a huge problem in the greenhouse gas emissions that we have. My dad came home from work and basically he had this big idea about partnering with Brightmark. He said, this is gonna be a great idea. We're going to really help save the environment here. I haven't really seen him that excited in a long time. What we know is cows and we know milk production. And so we were looking for somebody that we could partner with that knew the rest of it. Before Brightmark came in here, their waste was essentially sitting in lagoons and then the methane from that manure would then release into the atmosphere. What we're doing is we're taking manure that's creating carbon emissions and capturing that and we're turning it into a renewable energy source. This project, when complete, will sequester carbon it is the equivalent of planting roughly a million trees over a 10-year period. We're literally creating power from food. With 
anaerobic digesters, we can help drive the industry to carbon neutral for future generations. This is actually groundbreaking. The innovation that's available, it makes my head spin sometimes. Dad was adamant about being innovative and if it's a good decision to make for the farm and the environment and the community, son, that's a win-win deal. You gotta do it. Very excited to see where it goes. The future looks bright. <laughs>